welcome to a product review. So today's product review, I've got my little hands on a bit of a surprise uh, today. I have got my hands on this, which is the Fayutech G5. It's the brand new gimbal just out by Fayutech. Um, it has some really good reviews on the YouTube at the moment. But there aren't that many, so I'm hoping that mine will be uh, very thorough and give you some idea in comparison to the GoPro and the uh, Z1, the Xeon Z1, which I currently have. I'm going to be using the Hero 4 with this new gimbal. So hopefully, the G5. Uh, pretty good it has um, come from China so it's been uh, it's been about a week it took about a week and a, a week and a bit to come it was um, I did a little bit of a search around on the internet and the average price was 220 pounds or 225 pounds the cheapest one there was 209 pounds so it's pretty good compared to the Z1 it's actually a little bit more more expensive by 20 20 quid or something like that however very good value for money if you haven't got a gimbal and you want a new gimbal <laughs> so let's open the box well, we have a cardboard outer sleeve there which uh, has loads of information on the back may or may not be useful i don't know and then we have a very nice solid cardboard box which um hopefully will contain the the gimbal let's see if we can get out the box it's quite, it's quite stiff actually to be honest um, uh, right so we've got some left down a fraction you can see that uh, we have the box very very thick cardboard that is really really I mean the actual cardboard box will be about a ten I reckon so inside we have the uh, the warranty and the instruction manual uh, I'm not going to read it because I've, I've read it on the as, as we know we don't we're blokes and we don't read that sort of thing so we don't need that in the actual box itself we have like a um, little box a box in a box which we'll come to in a moment and then we have the gimbal itself in this very nice case it's a it's a very soft case uh, reminds me of, um, of a, t a tennis racket only smaller so and it's got some lovely zips I mean these are really this is really quality um, a quality bag a uh, quality carry case um, not sure it doesn't open fully it's just got uh, maybe I should maybe I should review that and say yes it does open fully you just need to go a little bit further <laughs> like that <laughs> so make sure you undo it properly and then inside is a separate weight now this is actually for the hero 5 so if you have a hero 5 you will need that weight uh, to counterbalance it and then in, also in here is a um, silica silica bag for, for condensation and then inside there We have the actual gimbal itself now it's fairly cold because it's been in the um, DHL lorry for 48 hours probably but it's actually quite cold now you can see that in my hand it's a lot shorter than my Z1 the Z1 will come down to about here I reckon so it, it is a good smaller size of gimbal 
uh, we'll come on to oh and the other thing which is which is another thing which makes it ideal is the, the quarter 20 uh, tripod mount on the bottom there so we have a tripod mount for um, putting a um, tripod plate on which we will do so we can the battery battery life apparently is excellent and you get an equal number of hours compared to the Z1 as you do with this one yet in the Z1 there's two batteries and in this uh, device there's only one battery required so in that cardboard box which I took out of the cardboard box <laughs> We have the other parts of the setup, which include. Ah, now that's interesting. There's only one battery. I was told that there would be two batteries. Now, hmm, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Now, everything, everything led me to believe that there would be two batteries, and there's only one. There's a little tiny um, USB to USB uh, uh, cable, very tiny one. This one will be for um, for connecting it to the GoPro, so you can charge the battery from the gimbal. We have a, a normal uh, USB with many uh, micro, whatever they call it, micro USB. This will be for, for um, charging up um, and I'm actually quite surprised there isn't a charger there isn't a separate charger with this again I I assumed that uh, from the reviews and everything else that there was going to be a second battery and the charger there's only one battery and that's um, that one this is a uh, I can't read it without my glasses. <laughs> See if I can read it with my glasses. Hang on. So it's a 3000 milliamp hours, 3.7 volts. I'm sure you can buy these on the internet, but the point is I did expect um, two of those and I've only got one hmm. and no charger. Obviously you charge the, probably charge the gimbal battery from the from the gimbal so you won't need to once the battery is in there you won't need to, you won't probably need to take it out whereas the, the uh, Xeon you have a separate battery charger which uh, is there so you have a separate one um, for your for you put your batteries in there and I have several sets of batteries that I have for the Z1 Okay, well that's um, unusual because that's all there is. All right then. So where's me scissors? Need me scissors and do the battery. So got me, got me hands. We need some. I really hate it when they do this plastic stuff on batteries. Need to so easy to get off. Okay. So the battery goes in there, there's only room for the one battery. Hi guys, uh, so today I want to give you some uh, friendly reminder about my Feu G5 that I've been having for around two weeks now and now it's dead. Why? Because my friend accidentally put the battery upside down which is the positive pole should be here but my friend put it like this but on Veyu when we put the battery upside down and we trigger the power button it still worked and it screws on to the other end of the gimbal it has a very nice feel to it a sort of a very um 
smooth as rubberized feel but it's not rubbery if you see what I mean it's a very silky smooth feeling and uh, the main button there this is a joystick button there is two other buttons on one is the on off button and then the one thing that attracted me to the gimbal was the idea of having a selfie button that you can press which is that we, when you press it the actual camera will turn around to face you so you haven't got to keep on you know you haven't got to keep on turning it round to be able to talk to your, to your camera you can actually just press a button the thing is if I'd have been able to get on the gap like that then I could have got on Jubilee line couldn't I the bracket itself here is um, thumb, thumb screws so you can put your camera in obviously I can't do that at the moment because my camera is recording on the other gimbal <laughs> have a slight problem <laughs> so overall disappointed um, no second battery no battery charger uh, I know we're making a big point about it but the point is that if you have one battery and you're using it and it runs out you have to wait for it to charge up again so there we go that's the initial reaction uh, I'm just gonna play around with it a little bit see what footage we can get with it I don't like hills too big a hill Yeah. <laughs> She's got six six mile an hour, I've only got four. If that I reckon I've only got about three. I've only doing about three, I've got a Yeah. Oh my god. Slow down. We got a ticket. I'm not finished shooting. I don't do that speed, but there's no one around. I can't stop, so I'm not going to slow <laughs> down. You can go in. <laughs> I won't get up the hill. See, look, they're very tight. Are oh, you going that door? Yeah, you're going the back door, yeah. Ah, that'd be bad. Oh, it's easy. It's so easy on the back. If there was a driver around, I'd ask him to let me show you how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> but how, you, how do you pay on those? You don't. Wheelchairs go free. Oh. You don't pay at all. Exactly. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, wheelchairs travel free on the buses and trams in London. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So if I can't go on the engine round, I can go on the bus? Yes. Number 23 from Charing Cross. Charing Cross? Yeah. Where the hell's that? Across, just the, across that bridge. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, nice. Walk away, tra yeah. train into Charing Cross, yeah. and then you can... Oh yeah, you can do that, can you? Yeah. Yeah. And then you they just... They probably tell me I need to book it though. <laughs> no, because like, they're both <laughs> turn up and go stations. Oh, I do. Really? I have a book to go home, so I, don't, I didn't know what time we were no, coming no, back. No, you don't know what time, do you? It's silly, really, trying to, trying to say that you've got a yeah. book good. Right. Thank you for the job. Thank you. If I say goodbye to you here, yeah, 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 yeah. Will you take it, you know where the lift is to the underground, don't you? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. You know when you go through where they go along there, where the escalator is? You go yeah. past the escalator and then turn right, there's a lift there. You show me where the lift is, and I'll make you back here, or yeah. the big lift there, because I've got to go away. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. I've got to go for a week. I will see you so. Have a good journey home. Hope you enjoyed it. Oh, we had a great day. It was lovely. Yeah. They're going to walk you to the lift to check yeah, where yeah, it is. Yeah. And I'll see you at the other lift. And I'll see you soon. Okay. That was an excellent gift, wasn't it? Yep. Spoiled. Down here.
Waterlooey. That's to go upstairs. Waterlooey yeah. and balcony. So I thought the underground was over there. Yeah. Two seconds. Underground, that. Uh, it says underground. Yeah, you know where you finally get to the Jubilee line. Uh, well, that's what was quite funny because Claire came up on her shift on the third. Sign that says lift. Yeah, big sign saying lift, yeah. <laughs> Pretty obvious, really, isn't it? Unfortunately, the gimbal itself now is broken ah! and it's going to have to go back to China. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious and don't call me Shirley. And so there is church. pronounce it. There was an interesting thing on the bottom of this. in there which is the a connector for the USB I can't show you the, the USB cable because it's broken and that was basically what started all of this off the uh, broken cable has what I would what I would call is um, it's actually shorted out the motors but the thing that I wanted to mention was that there's a little bit of this st sticky stuff and it was actually stuck over the the gap where's it gone there so it was stuck over that and it was actually really difficult to get off and uh, I didn't want to damage it but unfortunately there's no way that that will go back on so you're left with a um, with a, a USB port that's uncovered however it doesn't matter because once the cable is in the in the hole it won't matter too much because then you'll be connected to the the gopro you can plug it in the gimbal into a power bank uh, i haven't got one here but you can plug it in and um the power bank will charge the gimbal and then the gimbal will charge the gopro so that means this is going to be a lot more efficient because i can tell you now that when i went to london um having to change the gopro batteries halfway after after a very short time is a real pain in the bum when you're putting the gopro in here it really is i mean you can see it's moving all around all over the place at the moment and you're trying not to press the gopro buttons but you're also trying to do this up on the screws um without the gopro falling out and obviously then you have to align it up so you get the gopro round the right way and overall the i am very very impressed with the fayutech g5 it's it's probably 
pretty pretty good as far as um, ex doing exactly what I want it to do. The GoPro will still work with the quick capture button um, which is brilliant because on the Xeon if you have it plugged into the Xeon uh, it will not work. Uh, you have to I found that out by mistake that uh, you know if the USB charging cable is in then there's no way that your uh, GoPro functions properly. Um, the quick, quick uh, capture button doesn't work. So there we go. I think uh, it, overall the Feotech G5 is well worth the money and it's a, a really good gimbal. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, come back again soon for another product review. Bye for now.